USI took on the Bucknell Bison and joining us now from Liberty Arena, home of the Screaming Eagles, is Michael Gross with a recap of tonight's game. Michael? Shelly, Brandon, it's not deja vu, I promise. On Monday, USI men's basketball lost to DePaul in overtime in Chicago. Well, the same result here, another heartbreaking overtime loss for the Screaming Eagles, the final 75-69. to Again, they were up late in the game. They let it slip once again like they did against the Blue Demons of DePaul, and they just couldn't close it out in overtime. They allowed six points on Monday night in overtime. They allowed 12 points tonight against Bucknell. Noah Williamson, the big man, the center for the Bison, 32 points, 14 of 18 from the free throw line. And funny enough, when these two teams met last year, Williamson was 11 for 13. He was circled on the scouting report once again, and they did not capitalize on stopping him. Still an incredible game. Let's get to the highlight. The Screaming Eagles on their home court for the first time this season, taking on Bucknell, who they lost to on the road last season by double digits. And this one starts off the same way Monday did. A Jalen Randall jumper on defense now. Steven Aloney forcing a loose ball, picks it up, and how about that? Slamming it home on a fast break. So in comes the hometown kid. Freshman Josiah Dunham immediately making an impact, burying the tray off the skip pass. Good look, good finish. Enter Jack Campion. Not much of an impact against DePaul. Complete opposite tonight. How about this, a little step back triple. You bet. USI up. Then the Bison began to heat up. Inbound to Noah Williamson. Impressive finish, catching it and finishing in the air. Campion on the steal here. Ball gets knocked loose and he picks it up. All the way down, Ian Mata there to swat it away. And the flex, Bucknell feeling good, but another forced turnover this time ends in an impressive bucket for the Screegs. Damani Harrison, count it, and one. Time winding down in regulation, USI up four, and and one for Williamson makes it a one-point game. He would get fouled, and another free throw late sends it to overtime. And in OT, it was all Bucknell. A second straight overtime loss for the Screaming Eagles to begin the season is not ideal. Stan Gerrard boils it down to consistency, or a lack thereof. It's disappointing. Um, anytime you put yourself in a position to win and uh, you fall short, that, that's uh, a concern of mine. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed, you know, in the loss tonight. Um, disappointed how we executed down the stretch. Um, I'm disappointed um, um, with, our, with our defensive efforts. You know, we wasn't the same team tonight as you we were on Monday night. I just told those guys that. And, and we can't come into a ball game and look at the opponent, no matter who they are. We got we to gotta, we gotta come to compete every day like we did last week. And once again, like Stan said, another heartbreaking loss. And, well, listen, USI is going to have to recover from this 0-2 start. Not ideal, but they'll get a three-game road trip reset beginning on Monday at Marshall. Then they'll go down to Bellarmine and then back up to Fort Wayne after that. Then they will return back home. Lots to think about for the Screaming Eagles men's basketball team. They'll do so tonight and throughout the weeks. But they start 0-2, 75-69, the final 